Hi, welcome to Crypto Corner. In our last video, we actually added Binance Smart Chain app to our Ledger Live, and we were able to send BNB and see it in our Ledger Live account. And today we are actually going to add some BEP20 tokens to our Ledger Live and interact with them on the PancakeSwap exchange and see how those interact with Ledger and decentralized exchange. So stay tuned. Okay, so here I am, I've got my Ledger Live open and I've actually opened up the Binance Smart Chain app as well on my Ledger. And we've got some BNB in this account, uh, 0.2395 BNB. Now I've only got BNB in this account and you will see that it is a fully supported coin with the Binance Smart Chain app on Ledger Live. And what that means by fully supported is that it is showing the amount of BNB and it is also showing the value of BNB. So Ledger Live, when they added the Binance Smart Chain app, they said there are three types of tokens. There's the supported, fully supported, there's partially supported tokens, and there's unsupported tokens. So the partially supported tokens actually will show the amount of token you have in your account, but it will not show the value. And unsupported tokens won't show you either. It won't show you the amount and it won't show you the value of your coin, but it will still be safe and secure on your Ledger hardware wallet. So there is a way that you will be able to see those tokens on bscscan.com. And if you go to the tokens tab, you will see the list of tokens if you do not see it in your Ledger Live. Don't worry, those tokens are not lost. So today we are actually going to interact with the pancake swap. So let's go there. And if we click on connect wallet, you will see all the wallets that interact with pancake swap. So today we're actually going to connect our ledger account to uh, MetaMask. Okay, so we are going to open up MetaMask. And one thing we want to do is make sure that we are on the Binance Smart Chain network. Now my MetaMask has been configured to have Binance Smart Chain on it. When you set up a MetaMask wallet for the first time, it will typically have the Ethereum and these top five networks on them. The Binance Smart Chain is one that you have to add. And we will go over that in another video as well for those of you who do not have Binance Smart Chain configured to your MetaMask wallet. But you want to make sure that you are on this network. From here, we want to connect our Ledger account with the Binance Smart Chain Network. So we will click on here and we will click on Connect Hardware Wallet. We'll click on Ledger and continue. Okay, we click on the address that is associated with our BNB account on Ledger Live. And you can see this is the Ledger Live. Uh, address and it's got the balance of the BNB that we had in our Ledger Live 0.2395 BNB. We are going to go to Pancake Swap and we want to connect our Ledger Live wallet address with the Pancake Swap. So we go in here and we say click on Connect here and now it is connected and our balance is showing up on Pancake Swap. So what we're going to do today is we're going to buy a BEP20 token called CAKE. And we're just gonna do a small test amount. So let's go here and type in CAKE. And we are going to purchase 0.5 CAKE. So it automatically calculates how much BNB that will be. And we are going to swap it. and hit confirm. Okay, so ETH app, please enable contract data. Please enable contract data on the Ethereum app settings. Okay, so we are going to quit the Binance Smart Chain app that we are in on our Ledger device. And we are going to go into the Ethereum app and 
go to settings, scroll to settings, it says contract data not allowed. So we do need to change that to be allowed is what the is why we're getting that error. So we click both buttons and now it says contract data allowed. And now we can hopefully make this work. Let's try this again. So 0.5 cake, confirm swap. And now it is asking us to review the transaction on our ledger device. So we are going to approve this, accept and send. So we should see that any moment. You can see here that our BNB balance went down and our cake balance went to 0.5 cake. Now this should also be reflected on our ledger live account. So let's go back there and you can see here that yes, our BNB balance went down in our ledger live account and we can see the pancake swap token showing up here. So this is interesting. You'll notice before this was about $114. So the, our balance actually went down. It's only reflecting the BNB balance, even though we swapped it for an equal amount of cake. So what's happening here is the cake token is one of those BEP20 tokens that is partially supported, where it will show the amount of cake that we have, but it won't show the value of the cake. Now let's say you send a BEP20 token to your Binance Smart Chain address on Ledger that is completely unsupported, which means it doesn't show up in your Ledger Live account at all. How do you see that it's actually safe and secure on your Ledger device? Let's grab our Binance Smart Chain address here. And we are going to go to bscscan.com. You can put in your address here and you can scroll down and you will see all the transactions that have happened on Binance Smart Chain. Now, if we want to see the BEP20 tokens that are on this address that are not showing up in Ledger Live, you click on BEP20 token transactions. And here you will see that we've got 0.5 pancake swap. So now I know that this one actually showed up on Ledger Live, but if I were to send a BEP20 token that didn't show up in Ledger Live, this is where I would come to see it. And then if I actually wanted to send and receive or swap this token, I would actually use a third party wallet such as MetaMask because the tokens will show up here. Now here's a little side tip. It's actually not showing up. Let's see if it shows up if I refresh it. No, it still doesn't show up. So I know some of you have had questions before that your tokens aren't showing up in MetaMask for whatever reason. So what you would do is you would click on add token and you're going to put in the contract address of the token that you just purchased or you want to show up in your MetaMask wallet. So what you would do is Go to coingecko.com, type in the token that you're looking for, and you will see the contract address is right here. So you just want to copy it and go back to MetaMask and type it in here. And it automatically populates the name of the token symbol, which is cake, and it automatically populated the token decimal as well. So you want to click on next add tokens. So now you can see it's added and now it is actually showing up on our MetaMask wallet as well. Once again, everything is safe and sound on your ledger. So just because you don't see it, there are ways of finding out where to go to actually see it. So this we could actually use on PancakeSwap or any other decentralized exchange and uh, you will be able to swap and trade it for another token. So now you can actually trade your tokens all safely within your ledger 
And what I love about these decentralized exchanges is that you just need to connect your wallet. You don't have to pay a transaction fee to send them to a centralized exchange and then transact with those tokens. So the decentralized exchanges have that advantage over the centralized exchanges, not to mention you also keep your tokens safe and secure in your control. Uh, nobody else owns the private keys, only you. And in my opinion, it is one of the best ways to interact with your cryptocurrency with a hardware wallet and a decentralized exchange. Also note that there's no KYC, meaning know your customer, uh, no documents that you need to upload to these decentralized exchanges. That's why they are called decentralized exchanges and that's why we love them. So I hope all of you have your hardware wallets. If you don't have one already, there's a link down below to make sure that you go and purchase your hardware wallet from the manufacturer. Uh, that is the only safe way to ensure that you are getting an authentic ledger that has not been hacked or compromised and well worth the peace of mind of knowing that your cryptocurrencies are safe. So that is it for our video today. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And we will see you soon on the next one. Take care and we're loving the crypto life. If you want to know how to add the Binance Smart Chain to your MetaMask wallet, I will have a link in the description below that will show you how to do it safely and easily.